Oh my god, hey guys. Okay, this is like a very like old school OG like vlog type thing. Like literally like, what is it? Late 2000s era. I really should do this more often. Just like turn on the fucking camera and like speak to it. And it's like through photo booth, like you know the Mac thing. Also don't mind my hair cause it's like I'm in transition. Like I'm transitioning kind of thing, but like so basically, and yeah, so that's why it looks crazy is my point. Um, basically, um, so right now I'm just chilling. It's a Tuesday evening. Oh my God, it's like my number, my time. Okay, you guys, I have like, you know how like people have insider, insider jokes and whatever, like with like their friends. Like I have insider jokes with myself, but it's not really a joke because it's not meant to be funny. But anyways, I made this tea because my stomach was kind of bothering me like fucking all day but I'm also smoking hookah and like ugh I hate this censorship era of the internet where everything must be censored and like isn't my hookah thingy so cute and I can show you the other part but there's coals on it and it'll fall and like kill everything hopefully this is allowed like I'm so sorry but like Oh wait, I was gonna do my eye patches. So this is what I was gonna do. You guys, I'm using, like, I hate the Lush eye patches or eye masks or whatever the fuck it is. I really like this one right now. I don't know if you guys know of any other brands, let me know. But, um, what is this called? Pixie? I think it's from like Target or something. I like it because there's like a lot inside. Like I've noticed a lot of the eye mask, like, options only have like one or two or three or something but this one has like a whole package and then i love the shape of them because obviously it's like fitted to your eye kind of thing um but the ones from lush are like round and then you have to cut them and they're so freaking annoying um but these are good and then like i do feel like they're pretty effective because once you take them off in like 30 minutes or whatever like i leave it on for like however long i feel like it and after I take them off, they're like dry AF, aka like all of the moisture has went in your skin. So I feel like that's a good like way to determine that, you know what I mean? That like it actually like went into your skin. But I don't even know what's in here. Ow! Probably just hydration. Let me see. Oh my god. It says deep huffing eye patches. And there's 30 pairs, so there's 60 total patches, which is like very, very slay and um, detoxy, whatever. Um, what else is in here? Reviving hydrogel package patches. Um, oh my god, I don't feel like reading all of this, but there's apparently caffeine and hyaluronic acid. There we go. That's what I wanted to know, like what it's actually made of. Um, where's my hookah thingy? Um, Oh, and key key point of like the eye patches as well is like, can they actually fucking stick to your face? Which this one does. Um, and once again, the Lush ones are so fucking thick. Like you do realize they don't need to be thicker than my fucking life, right? Because then they're gonna be heavy and fall. And if you guys don't have me on TikTok, go follow me there, Instagram and Twitter, and also join my Discord server. And what else do I have? I do have a Tumblr now, you guys. I used to have Tumblr when I was literally 16, like 15 years ago. And like, I feel like I'm back in that vibe. Like, I don't really write that much these days, but I'm just like, I created one and I posted something that I wrote like two years ago. Um, and I feel like, why not? You know what I mean? Like, oh, and I had like, if you guys know, I had a, mo my frog's name is Bob Era. My frog's name is Bob was like my original username and my screen name. So this is Bob, you guys say hi. Oh my God. Hi, you guys. Hi. Okay. So like, oh my God. Oh my god, don't you love my cup? It's Armenian ceramic beach. I think it's from Jerusalem. So it's like a double whammy. Um, and then I 
kind of just didn't feel like going to the gym because usually I go Monday through Friday. So I was like, fuck it, I'm not going. So I was just pretty much like hanging out, chilling kind of thing. Then I decided to go get Joe and the Juice, which um, I'm not really sure. Like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but I'm not that familiar with it. And I feel like every time I go, it's like a meh vibe. And I'm not really sure. Like, it's just like, am I ordering the wrong thing? Like, I got their coffee shake and once again, it was meh. I got a sandwich. It was with tuna and avocado and it was meh. The bread is like really thin and their sandwiches are like fake knockoff paninis and like extremely thin um but maybe i just haven't tried the wrong right things um yeah like but yeah like i don't know so then i came back oh and then i went to charge my car i have a car charger which i need to get installed um but i can't wait till i do that so i don't have to like charge in like outside um so like, and then I came home, I showered, and then I just set up my hookah and my tea, and now I'm like at my desk, I'm gonna like get some, some stuff done, I am planning my event for Bridging the Borders, my org, so if you guys are, if you see this before then, because it's on August 11th, and if you're in the LA area, you have to come through, you can find out more on my Instagram. Uh, on my Instagram, but also like on Bridging the Borders Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's for Armenian New Year. Oh my god, like a cup of fucking bomb tea. I wish I could show you guys. Can you see this? Yes, you can see it. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the color. And it's herbs. It's like an herbal tea with uh, mint. Mint and chrysanthemum, I think. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Love you guys. I love the Adami. And I even have like a thing that says I love the Adami right there. But, um, bye.